In Washington, the Department of Defense displays the winter uniforms which have been issued to United States troops in Korea and what the Chinese communists are wearing in North Korea's sub-zero temperatures. A captured quilted uniform is compared with the U.S. winter uniform. Unlike the Chinese, the U.S. cold weather uniforms are designed on the principle that the best protection against cold is several layers of clothing. In North Korea, U.S. troops are fighting in one of the coldest battle areas in U.S. history. Army and Marine winter uniforms are compared. The uniform for both services is the same, with one exception. The Army wears a pile line jacket for ordinary cold, while the Marines wear a battle jacket inside a field jacket. Wet and dry cold weather equipment, which has been sent to U.S. troops in North Korea, is the end result of much practical experimentation such as the exercise sweetbriar cold weather maneuvers held in Alaska in February 1950. With icy winds blowing down from Manchuria, bringing snow and sleet storms, our troops are fighting in almost Arctic conditions. Two types of cold weather boots have been designed. Rubber shoe packs for wet cold, felt line for dry cold. Importance of winter clothing in North Korea was emphasized when some units outdistanced their supply lines, went without full cold weather equipment for a few days. Basic and innermost layer of the U.S. cold weather uniform is long woolen underwear. Over these are worn two pairs of trousers, a flannel shirt, a high neck sweater, a jacket, and in extreme cold, a pile lined parka. There are two types of mittens. The regular mittens have a trigger finger. Mittens worn with the dry cold uniform have no trigger finger, but they have cheek warmers. Following the separate layer principle, three pairs of socks are worn, each pair being successively larger with the boots large enough to take three pair comfortably. Experimentation in refrigerated laboratories, as well as in the Arctic itself, has given U.S. troops newer and better ways of fighting the weather. In this parka, with fur-rimmed hood, the U.S. fighting man is equipped to endure the coldest weather.